Hi, welcome. Here's your Saxon lesson for today. This is Saxon lesson 111. The last time we talked about the history of the English language, we discussed the fact that English is, be is beginning to sound more and more standardized because telephones, television, satellites, and movies have allowed us to hear English speakers from all over the world. However, no matter how much English speakers may sound alike, there will probably always be pronunciation, uh, there pronunciation differences, even within countries. For example, someone from New York can sound quite different than someone from Texas. We call the pronunciation variations that occur from region to region dialects. The original English language, which came from England, is called British English. Likewise, in America, English has slightly different sounds, and it's called American English. But they're both English, right? Like for people from uh, Britain, they, they talk like this. Huh? Would you like a cup of tea? Right? Are they speaking English? Yes, they are speaking English. Can you understand if somebody says, Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, they're saying, Would you like a cup of tea? But their dialect is a little different than us because theirs is British English and ours is American English. Do you understand? Okay, my accent was horrible, by the way. <laughs> uh, yes, Leah. Very good. It's not called an accent. It's called a dialect, but they're in a different dialect. Very good. You're right. In fact, English is spoken in many other countries, Dominic, and each country has its own unique pronunciation. Some of the English dialects you may hear are Australian English, Canadian English, South African English, and others. Have you heard people from other countries speak English? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes do they sound a little different? Yeah. Yes, but can you understand them? Yeah. Yes, because it's still English, but it's in a different dialect. Even within a country such as the United States, you might hear differences between the dialects spoken in the northern parts of the country as compared to the southern or eastern or western parts of the country. These differences will probably always exist. Like, if you're from Texas, you may talk like this and have cowboy boots, right? People from the northern states, like New York, talk like this and they talk very fast and they... Right? So their dialect is a little different. People from the northern countries don't say y'all. But in the south, we say, oh, hey, y'all. What's up, y'all? They don't, they're going to look at you and say, okay, yeah, you're definitely from the south. You're not from here, right? And, and that's all part of the United States, but it's a different dialect. No, we're from the north. All right. Uh, let's go over our letter cards, picture cards, and sight word cards. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. I want to hear everyone's voices. Yes. Thank you. All right, here we go. Letter cards. You ready? Go. Vowel Y. Triograph T C H. Diagraph E A. Ghost letter diagraph K N. Ghost letter diagraph G N. Ghost letter diagraph W R. Diphthong diagraph O U. Diphthong diagraph O W. Diagraph A I. Diagraph A Y. C. Diphthong O I. Diphthong O Y. Triograph I G H. G. G. Triograph D G H. Final stable syllable shun. What is this? Diagraph O A. Diagraph A U. Diagraph A W A O Final stable syllable shun 
Diagraph E W. Diagraph E Y. Diagraph U E. U E. Okay, I think some of these are out of order. That's why some of y'all were confused. I'll I'll go back and fix them later. All right, let's go over our sight word cards. Are you ready? Read. All right, here we go. Cry I. Cry I. Candy E. Candy E. Ring Ng. Ring Ng. Phone F. Phone F. Leaf E. Leaf E. Thread E. Thread E. Steak A. Steak A. Knot N. Knot N. Nat N. Wreath er. Mouse owl. Mouse owl. Soup oo. Soup oo. Cow owl. Bow o. Rain a. Hay a. Circle s. Oil oi. Toy oi. Light eye. Patch ch. Giraffe j. Bridge j. Lotion shun. Soap o. Faucet a. Straw a. Wallet a. Sponge a. Mission shun. Television jun. Cashew u. Pe. Glue oo. Glue oo. Good job. Okay, you should have spelling word list 22 out. It's stapled with all the rest of your things. Let's go over our spelling word list 22 first, and then we'll start um, with our reviewing our sounds. All right, number one. Let's read them together. Dam, law, charge, gravy, crater, raw, claw, north. Feeding, boat, boot, boat, coat, charcoal, goal, toad, country, earth, early, woman, woman. Let's read the first one. 21. Betsy Ross made the first U.S. flag. Can we make fudge to take for a snack? She's the person that made the first U.S. flag. What does U.S. stand for? United States. United States. Notice how the U and the S are both capital. On your spelling test, if you do lowercase U.S., it's wrong. This is a proper noun. It needs to be capital. The dots between the U and the S tell us that this is abbreviation for United States. It's abbreviated. Abbreviated means shortened. All right, does anyone have any questions on what some of these words may mean? Dominic, which one? Charcoal, that's that black stuff, the little black rocks that we buy when when we go to barbecue. Sometimes you see those black rocks you put in the grill so you can light the fire. That's called charcoal. Okay, uh, yes, Amaria. What number? Number 10? Uh, number 10 is a booth, like a photo booth, or it's like a small uh, booth. Or like like a small stand. That's what a booth like lemonade booth. Okay, uh, Do, uh, Dustin. Number five, crater. A crater is like a big rock, right? Uh, all right. Uh, Rena. Number four, gravy. That's the gravy that you put on on mesh on mashed potatoes. That brown stuff. Sometimes it's white. Okay, yes, yes. Number 15 is toad. It's like a frog, but it has bumps on it, and it's bigger. Uh, yes, Haney. Gravy? Gravy is like that liquidy stuff that you put on top of your mashed potatoes or the turkey sometimes. All right, yes. 
Damp means not wet, but kind of wet. So if I say, oh, give me a damp paper towel, that means not a soaking wet, where it's dripping, but it's a little moist. It's damp, okay? All right, anyway, let's keep going. Now let's go to the next page where it says spelling sound reviews. Next to number one, it has one through nine. Next to number one, I want you to write the spelling sound for j. J. That's J comma G final D G E comma G E. So number one was J. I'm at, I'm about six feet away from everybody else. I'm going to scoot on back. I'm going to slip my mask off so you can hear me. Number one was J. J comma G final D G E comma G E. Okay, number two, shun, final stable syllable shun. What is that, everyone? T-I-O-N. So number two is T-I-O-N, shun. Number three, wah, whale. What is that? W H W H Number four is D. That's D final D comma E D. I'll repeat that. That's D comma I'm sorry. D final D comma E D. And again, if you missed any, I promise I'll go back and show you at the end. Just write down what you hear for now. If you need to fix it later, you can. Number five, qua quilt. What is that? Q-U, excellent job. Combination Q-U. Number six, V. That's V final V-E. That's V final V E. Number seven. T. That's T final T comma E D. Because E D sometimes makes that sound in the final position. So it's T. That's T final T comma E D. Excuse me. Number eight is E. That's E, E, comma, E, final, E, E, comma, Y. I'll repeat that again. That's E, E, comma, E, final, E, E, comma, Y. Number nine is K. That's K, comma, C, Final C K comma K comma K E comma C. I know that's long. So it's K. That's K comma C final C K comma K comma K E comma C. So your paper should look like this. If you need some time to copy this down, you can pause the video now. Okay, let's practice spelling some words um, that have that we've um, talked about before. Next to number 10, write the word true. Is it true or false? True. All right, class, let's spell true. T-R-U-E. Very good, T-R-U-E. Next number 11, write the word optic. Optic. Op, tick, class, optic, O P T I C, optic, O P T I C. Next to number twelve, stopping, stop, ing, stopping. 
S T O P P I N G. You double the P. S T O P P I N G. Stopping. Now let's practice some sight words. Put your finger next to number 13 and spell the word woman. 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 Is W O M E N. W O M E N. Woman. Number 14. Busy. She is really busy. So let's spell busy together. B U S Y. Very good. B U S Y. Number 15. Sure. Are you sure? Sure. S U R E. Sure. S U R E. So your paper should look like mine. If you need some time to copy this down, pause the video now. All right, let's do the sentence. If you mix blue and yellow, you will get green. Now, write it out loud with me. Are you ready? If you mix blue and yellow, what is this? Comma. You will get green. Period. Let's do it together one more time. If you mix blue and yellow, comma, you will get green, period. Go ahead and pause the video and write that down now. So your paper should look like this. If you mix blue and yellow, comma, you will get green, period. If you need some time to write this down, you can pause the video now. Okay, let's look at this word behind me. What's this word, everybody? Return. Return. What should I do before coding this word? Look for a final stable syllable or a suffix, then find the vowels. Does this word have a final stable syllable or a suffix? No. no. How many vowels does this word have? Two. two. Clap it out. Return. Two. What do we do when we have more than one vowel in a word? We find the vowel pattern and divide the vowels into... Syllables. First, we'll look for suffixes and final stable syllables. Then we'll look for obvious codings. Are there any? What's an obvious coding here? We have combination. You are. Very good. Combination you are. You code it with a arc. Very good. What if one of the vowels is part of a diagraph? We code those letter clusters as one vowel sound. Does this word have a diagraph? No. Let's write a V under each vowel. We have the vowel E and then the vowel combination U, R. Look between the vowels for consonants. What's the consonant between the vowels? T. E. T. Very good. Who can tell me the vowel pattern for this word? What's the vowel pattern? V, C, V. V, C, V. Excellent job. Where is the best place to divide the accent and accent the V, C, V? First place to try is to divide after the first vowel and accent the first syllable. Next, divide after the consonant. So let's try right here after the first vowel. All right. Does that make sense if I put it there? Return. Is that right? Is it return or writ earn? It's return. Good job. Good. Let's divide it. All right, how do we code the E here? Is it long or short? Long. It's long, so we code it with a macron. Guys, coding long vowels with a macron, short vowels with a brief. Spring break wasn't that long. All right. Uh, let's see. Who can read this word? Everyone read this word. Return. Do you return something to the store? Yes, sometimes. Since this word is not coded correctly yet, let's try to divide after the consonant and see if that helps. How do we code the E now? So what if I put the, the 
division line here? Is this return or return? Return. So instead, let's put a brief here. Now, can anyone read this word? Return. Has anyone ever heard of the word return? No. Sometimes you must divide a word with the VCV pattern a third way. The third way to divide the word after the vowel, but accent of second syllable. Let's do this. So if we do that like this, then the accent would go there. This is because the letters E and O and U can be long even when they are not accented, as long as they are open. These letters also make a squaw sound when they are in open accents and syllables. Can anyone read this word? Return. Very good. Has anyone ever heard of the word return? Yes. Who can give me a sentence using this word? Leia. Good. My mom returned my things from Walmart. We have a new vowel rule card that will help us rem remind us what the E and O and U are usually long when they are open and unaccented. We also have the new vowel pattern for our VCV syllable division, wall card. All right, uh, let's look at some examples. Okay, let's look at this together. We have, um, for example, banana. Erase. Erase. Hotel. Hotel. July. July. Divide. Divide. Open unaccented vowels usually have the following sounds. A is squat, E, O, and U are long, and I is short. Okay, so let's practice some new sounds and reviews. On your papers, if you flip it over to the back, where it says new sounds in words next to number one, I want you to write the word belong. Be long. Belong is spelled B E L O N G. Belong. Number two, July. J U L Y. Number three, unite. U-N-I-T-E, U-N-I-T-E. Okay, um, let's read the words in the high frequency word box together. Blue, busy, tough, before, become, because, measure, through. Now you're going to write each word one time next to it, and then you're going to write three sentences using one word in each sentence. Make sure you capitalize the beginning of your sentence, the letter in the beginning of your sentence. Make sure you put a punctuation at the end of your sentence. Make sure you highlight the word that you used, okay? And then on the back, you're going to code these words and answer the questions. And on the homework side, same thing. You're going, excuse me, you're going to code the words and answer the questions. Okay, and that's all you're doing today for Saxon. If you have any questions, let me know. I will see you later. Bye, guys.